So this person's saying, maybe not an adage, but I hate how people, uh, sorry, I hate how everyone loves telling everyone how much they suck. Like, we get it. If you compare yourself to top elite, the top elite, we all suck. But to me, it comes off as fake humility because they're afraid that a higher belt might come along and say they're wrong or something. It's okay to be good and be confident about your jiu-jitsu. So, man, I uh, yeah, I 100% agree with this. I think people are way too uh, self-depreciating about their jiu-jitsu. Because realistically, I mean, most people are pretty good just to compare to the rest of the population, which, you know, aren't very good because they don't train. So, um, you know, most people that do jujitsu could take a brand new person pretty easily. And um, the difference between them and, you know, other people are, you probably aren't going to be super vast unless they're like uh, world champions or way belt levels ahead of them. It's like two blue belts. They should be pretty similar, um, you know, in uh, in skill and whatnot. So. You know, yeah, I don't I don't think people should be so, um, you know, self depreciating. And I think there's nothing wrong with admitting you're good at something, too. It's like, you know, I feel like people try to give me a hard time too. for like people either say I'm humble or they say I'm cocky because they because if they ever say if heard me say like I'm good at something or whatever, it's like they don't some people don't like that. But I think there's nothing wrong with um, if you are good at something to admit it like, you know, why is it cocky to say I'm good at jujitsu? That's what I do for a living. So I've done this for a living for years. I made my whole life around it, studied it for my for like the last 10 years of my life. Like why why is it cocky to say I'm good at jujitsu? I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. But um yeah, I think like it goes both ways. Like people shouldn't say how how garbage they are, but and people shouldn't shouldn't be a problem to say, yeah, you know, I'm pretty good at jujitsu. It's like not the end of the world. Uh, Mike, what are your experience with this? I'm I'm guilty of this. I, I'm self deprecating, uh, but I'm not doing it to get a, to get a compliment from somebody. I do it because I gen genuinely believe that it's just the way I am with my anxiety and, you know, BDD and stuff like that. Just like if I take off my shirt and look in the mirror, I think I look disgusting when somebody else might say you're in decent shape for your age. It's the same with jujitsu. I think I'm, you know, most of the time I think I'm terrible and it's just me with depression and anxiety getting at me. But, uh, you know, I know I'm, I know I'm decent. I can keep up with the with people half my age, so I know I'm okay at it. But to to me, yeah, I always say that I suck, and I know it's annoying to people. But hey, well, I wouldn't say it's annoying to people, but I'm sure there are just people out there like me too. It's like, no, you know, you're good. You don't need to say that, you know, because you are good, Mike. And um, thank you. Yeah, you are. So nothing wrong with that. And I think it's so interesting too. People can experience mental issues so differently because. You know, I experienced some depression, anxiety too, just like you do, Mike. But um, that kind of thing is never, I never experienced it that way. Like from like day one, white belt or whatever, I'm thinking I'm going to be the best. I'm going to beat all you guys that can beat me. This you, uh, Give me a couple of years and there's no chance. Like that's like my, I guess I can't have a cocky mentality at, at times, right? But it's also just um, self-belief. You know, if, if you believe you can do something, um, I don't think that's cocky either. So yeah, I never had that issue where I thought I was bad or, you know, and the self depreciating, but I think we have such different personalities that way. I think that really contributes to it. But yeah, I yeah. wish I wish I had more of that outlook. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I wish I had a little bit less, just because, like, <laughs> man, it's like hard to because I see any like opportunity. I think I can do that. You know, I've talked about on the podcast before. It's like I think, oh, prime minister, I can do that. You know, I can I can become prime well, because why can't I? You know what I mean? Why can't you do what you want to do? Everyone that's achieved something that you want to achieve. Um, it's just a normal person, right? They figured out a way to do it. So every single thing that um, I want and I want to achieve, I don't see it as not possible. I see it as possible. So yeah, I think that's a good mentality. Besides people, they give me a hard time about it. But um, yeah, uh, Joey, what's your, uh, I think you've been you know, a little, you got that I'm okay at jujitsu shirt, even a little self-depreciating, but I'm sure you recognize too that you've got, you know, quite good skills at, for a black belt. Yeah, I mean, like I, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to like what you're comparing yourself to. Like if I compare myself to like Gordon Ryan or like the Rutolo brothers, like, no, I probably suck compared to them. I'm sure they'd beat the hell out of me. But if you give me most like outside of like world champion, like purple belts or below, I'll probably beat them pretty handily. Like I'm not bad. It's just um, I think what happens a lot of the time, too, is especially people who compete, you compare yourself to the best or like the guys that you want to compete against. And like in that regard, like, no, I don't think I'm good. I don't think I'm ever going to win a world championship, but for like a local level, I think I'm a pretty good black belt. So I think a lot of it just comes down to what you compare yourself to. And I think it's harder with jujitsu because I, I think maybe just because the pros are just 
maybe they seem more like everyday people. Like you wouldn't compare yourself if you're a guy who plays like adult rec league hockey to like the best guys in the NHL because they're so sure. far removed from you. You don't even practice with them. You don't even get to look at them. You have to pay to go watch them. Whereas in jujitsu, there can be a pro guy on the mat in your class. Like you could pay enough money and just go compete against, you know, some of the best guys in the world in the IBJJF tournaments. Like you can do that as a regular guy. So people tend to compare themselves to that because it's accessible. Whereas in like no other sport, like you can't, pay money and then just go compete in like the world tennis championships or something like you have to qualify for these things and for most people that's just never going to happen so you don't even bother comparing yourself to them yeah exactly i think i think that is what it is a lot just yeah. like comparison for no reason and like you said other sports for the most part uh aren't really like this it's like jujitsu has this like kind of problem where people really compare themselves to you know, high level competitors or even, you know, just anyone, people in their gym and they start feeling down Oh, this person started a similar time than I did, but they're better than me or whatever. It's like, yeah, comparison is a thief of joy. So, um, you know, I've said it for a long time. It's like, if you only take, if you only want to do this recreational, which is hundred percent fine, don't be hard on yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. There's just no value in it. If you want to be the absolute best, then take that mentality. I think that that is the only time it can call for it. And even then it sometimes it can be a negative aspect to it. So, um, 